Hello, everyone. Welcome to CNCF Wasm Day. My topic today is WebAssembly Class Application Runtime brings a new area of fuss. My name is Jason Song and currently work for Ant Group. I'm now mainly focusing on cloud native and microservice areas. We have deployed a large service mesh cluster in our production environment up and running for two years. The sidecar is named as Mosen, which is written in Golang and provides similar features as Envoy. Now there are more than 200k pods in the service mesh cluster, and the service mesh has solved our challenges in service connectivity areas well. However, as a company with a lot of business scenarios, we are still having challenges in other areas like cache, message queue, etc. As the diagram shows, they are tightly coupled with the application code. For example, if we want to migrate the cache from Redis to memory cache, we need to upgrade the SDK on the application side and require the application to change its code to use the new API. Another problem is the cost of multi-language support. Since we need to develop the logic of protocols, codecs, load balancing, disaster recovery for each language SDK, the cost is very high. In early 2020, Belgian Ibrahim published an article called Multi-Runtime Microservices Architecture. The main idea is to abstract the various distributed capabilities into multi-runtime so that the application no longer needs to rely on specific SDKs but will interact with the runtime over de facto standards such as HTTP, gRPC, which then solves the challenges just mentioned. And that brings Leoto. As shown in the diagram, Leoto is built on top of Mosen. It provides a unified standard runtime API with various distributed capabilities. Developers no longer need to care about the differences in the implementation of the underlying infrastructure, but only need to focus on what capabilities they need and just call the standard APIs. Speaking of the runtime API, we know that it is not easy to define a set of APIs with clear semantics and wide application scenarios. So we are now working with Dapper community and Alibaba to build the API. Hope it could be a standard in the future. Here are some excerpts from the API definition. We can see there are APIs to invoke services, get set cache, publish messages, etc. In addition to normal applications, we are also exploring the fast area. WebAssembly, aka Wasm, was introduced to web browsers to address performance issues with JavaScript. However, its near native performance, sandboxing, and portability features also makes it attractive for fast scenarios. With Wazi, Wazam provides a high level model for accessing system resources. However, in real cases, there are many other resources required to make a normal application work. For example, invoke services, get set cache, produce or consume messages, etc. Lack of these features makes it hard to host the serverless applications in Wasm. As Leoto abstracts a standard API, so we think, why not deploy Wasm modules with Leoto so that Wasm modules could consume external services by a course to Leoto sidecar. However, as Mosen also has the capability to host Wasm modules, we then think, why not we go further to combine them together? Then we have this diagram. The Wasm host, Mosen, and the Auto are all logical components in one process. 
Wasm host like Wasm Edge is embedded in Mosin to host Wasm modules, and they also is used to provide distributed capabilities such as invoking services, reading cache. These capabilities are exported to Wasm as ABI, similar to WASI. We wanted to develop a demo to prove this concept. So we did some research and found there has been some exploration about how to integrate Kubernetes with Wasm. The basic idea is to develop a container D shame plugin so that when it receives the request to create a container, it will hand over the actual creation logic to start a Wasm runtime to host the Wasm module. However, since we want to verify the nano process architecture, so we did some customization. As the diagram shows, we first start a layout runtime on the node to serve as the Wasm host and provide distributed capabilities. Then we customize the container D shame plugin so that when it receives the request to create a container, it will let Leoto run the Wasm module instead of creating a container. With this solution, we could reuse most of the Kubernetes capabilities and yet achieve the effect of running multiple Wasm modules as nano processes in Leoto and can also take advantage of Leoto's distributed capabilities. We also reuse Docker to package Wasm modules and submit them to Docker Hub for distribution. Here's a demo showing what we've accomplished so far. There are two Wasm functions. The first function receives a HTTP request and extracts the book name from the request. It then calls the second function to query the inventory of the book. And finally, will return the inventory information to us. We defined the invoke service API with function ID, method, and param so that the auto could use this information to locate the function and do the invocation. And here is the second function. When it receives the request, it will use the book name to query Redis for the actual inventory and then return the number to the caller. We defined the getState ABI with store name and key so that the auto could find the correct backend store and query the value. Now, let's build the programs to Wasm modules. Then we could use Docker build to build them into Docker images. We also need to register the runtime class to enable our custom container runtime. After that, we could deploy the Wasm functions with normal pod definitions. To make the query work, Let's pre-configure the inventory to 100. Let's check the function status. Now let's query the inventory for book one. We can see it works. Let's change inventory to 99. And yeah, it returns the latest value. Cool. And finally, let's clean up the resources. I hope this demo explains our idea clearly. With this demo, we proved this idea could work, and we believe with the fast development of WebAssembly and application runtime, the possibility to bring a new area of fast will eventually come true. Okay, that's all for my talk. Thanks for watching, and you may check out our GitHub repository for more information. Have a great day. Bye-bye.